What's up guys? John with Tiny Trucking. Welcome to the shop. Been doing a bunch of cool builds, so uh, I figured it's about time to do some build videos. The thing I am hands down most excited about right now is the SCX6 right here. It's getting the hammer ray, cage, uh, and some metal work done. I saw like many other people on the uh, SCX6 forums on Facebook. There's a guy who did a GS6 build with one of these, and he just knocked it out of the park. It was an amazingly, like, inspiring, sick build. So, uh, so I wanted to bring some life to the SCX6. So I ordered up the cage and everything, got it put together, and, uh, and started lining things out. The first thing, the first thing it all kind of started with, and I hope you can see... back to the truck and the sliders oh. so cage off I basically did about 50 something degree sliders right off of the uh, the C channel coming up it just cups everything and uh, and is a good just a good way to hold everything it's simple did a little battery tray with the shock tower. The shock tower is going to have a uh, a top plate to it, so it can uh, hopefully accept a fifth wheel type type trailer. Um, so the next step on this, and I've been putting it off for like since Thursday, and it's now Monday. Happy Labor Day, everyone! Um, is drilling the holes in the chassis. To, uh, to mount the hinge. If I do it right where I like it, it'll just hinge up and rock back and touch the axle. And then hinge back forward and drop in. And if I wanted to, in some steel, I could even put a little bed, a truck style bed in here to uh to fill the space because it would I mean it would safely clear so uh yeah i realized that that's the next part of the next the next thing to do on this and i've just kind of been dragging my feet uh so we're gonna get to it and drill some holes and make this chassis or body hinge off the chassis all right, so I'm going to try to keep up with things as they're happening. We started with clamping the body to the sliders and finding that ideal centered symmetrical position. I uh, went to go mark the holes and the wheels were in the way, so wheels come off. And then I use a 1 16th drill bit just to dot the hole to mark it so I can measure, double check. So I dot it, pull the cage, it was a, like a half of a millimeter discrepancy between the two, so I just angled the the first hole that little bit, and it centered right up. So I finished the through hole with the 16th, and then followed it up with the 8th bit. I'm going to be using M3s, so it should go nice and easy. I had a horribly not easy time deburring the inside of the uh, C-channel. I ended up using a countersink, just buzzing it a little bit. So found spacers, M3s, double nutted it so I can leave it, you know, snug, not loose, but not tight. Um, and I just could not be happier with how it came out. Alright, so uh, that's about it on, on what I plan on doing to the six right now the cage hinges great there's a tiny little snag <laughs> right there where I welded and closed it so I'm going to uh, grind a 16th out that shouldn't be an issue it'll go nice and easy I love the sliders and I love the way everything fits and feels with the tolerances um, oh, it just closes in perfect. I'm going to see if I can get the camera in there and show you what I'm talking about. But, okay, 
so the steel sliders on either side hold everything just perfectly in place. It's, it's, it's hitting the bottom. It's all trimmed in. Just closes perfect. Might do a small magnet just to keep them in line. But the next thing I'm going to be figuring out and working out is there's a the two headlight pod. Um, it goes here. I need to close the frame at the front end, and I'd like to make it so that I can latch the body with the grill pod. Uh, I don't think it'll be too hard, but I'm realizing something I need to do before that is uh, get rid of some plastic shock towers. So I might pull those so I can start specking them to remake them out of steel. Um, Cause that's gonna need to happen before whatever I do up front so that's next. Easy enough. Hope you guys are enjoying the build. Comment if you got any questions, concerns, any things you've seen that you'd like that I should incorporate. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it.